Hi friends, I am back and by now you probably already know what's going on and if you don't, well, let me tell you that I am pregnant. This is really crazy and I'm still in shock. Believe it or not, you probably think like, why are you in shock? Didn't you know what you were doing? Yes, but no. We're gonna get to that point, okay? I don't know, I feel so weird. I feel, I have so many mixed emotions i feel like in a roller coaster i always have said that having a baby is a huge responsibility i don't know it's just something really scary for me i was not sure if i wanted to have kids but also i wanted to have kids it was just a hard decision you know i was not sure when i wanted to have kids i just knew that i wanted to be a young parent but not too young also like the world right now it's not so beautiful you know of course it has its beauty and its bad things but it it's scary it's scary to think that i am going to bring a little human into this world god is gonna guide my steps my life my relationship and my baby that sounds weird huh as you guys know gabriel and i we been traveling a lot and it was so crazy and so fun because we have never ever traveled so much in our lives until now and our last big trip was to tampa as you guys know that was back in june we got back from our trip and so many bad things were happening somebody broke into our car and stole everything that we use in order to make youtube they also broke into our apartment well not the apartment but the garage and they stole some stuff as well and just so many things then my birthday party arrived which that was june 18 and it was so so much fun that was my first birthday party with friends and as you guys know i was really emotional i was really happy because most of my friends made it and i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie like in the middle of the night things got a little bit crazy if you know what i mean and i'm not talking about the party i'm talking about something else but yeah basically that happened I'm gonna tell that more in detail on Gabby and Gabe because I am also planning to make a video for our channel and just both of us talking and telling you guys about everything. But basically, um, the plan B didn't work. So yeah. Yeah, that's, that's about it for that. In July, we traveled to Colorado because we were gonna go and decorate a Blanca and Jonathan's podcast room but they end up moving out of the house we got back from colorado and then like after a week i believe we went back and they already have their new home i just love decorating organizing and you guys know but that was the first time that i started feeling super 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 tired bad tired like my eyes will close by themselves that tired and i will go to bed around 7 p.m that was weird for me but i started thinking oh it's because i haven't stopped like since tampa we haven't stopped we have been traveling so much we have been busy as f and then i started getting like a little bit dizzy here and there nothing crazy and i start getting a little bit nauseous which that was also like weird but not really because if you guys don't know i'm really sensitive like my body's really sensitive my stomach is pretty sensitive my snow my nose my skin my me personally i'm super sensitive and my friends they already know that because they're like oh it's gabby and her Doña Dolores basically that was not too new to me because I already am like that but I felt like it was a little bit intense like it was a little bit too much I was like okay Gabby you're being so dramatic when Black and I we were going to like shop and all of that she was driving her car and inside her car she had this little pine tree the black ones I don't know what they're called like I something I don't know but basically it smells for the car and I hate that smell like I hate it so much like even um gabe like he knows he doesn't supposed to be putting that in the car because i hate it like it makes me nauseous cars already make me nauseous so that to combined it was just like a big no so as soon as i opened the door from her car i was like bro what the fuck do you have those fucking little trees she was like the black ones i was like yes she was like yes look and she pulled like three four of them i was like girl throw that shit away like i literally grabbed that and i threw it because i couldn't stand the smell of it 
and I don't know I just couldn't stand it and she was like girl like you act like if you're pregnant I'm like no it's just I hate it and she was like are you sure and I was like yeah I'm sure she was like okay whatever so yeah we got in the car she was driving she drives good I mean she's not a perfect driver but she's good she's good and I was getting nauseous I was like Ugh, I just I can't stand the car right now I just mm -mm. I just wanted to arrive to our destination like a set we got to um, the stores and then we went inside and we were shopping but I was getting so hungry like not even hungry I was ravenish like I could devour anything like I was so 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 hungry and we stopped at a what, what was it? Mm -hmm. no let me get a bitch what? <laughs> I don't remember. She got me a cheeseburger and some fries. Yeah, and some fries. And literally, the fries they tasted okay, but I couldn't eat the the cheeseburger. It like I smelled it, and I was like, I can't. I just can't. But I didn't put much thought to it because once again, I don't like fast food. So I was like, oh, it's just like fast food. I don't fucking crave this. Even though I'm so hungry, I'm not gonna eat it. That's when I started decorating and doing everything. But I was feeling so tired, so I asked Gabriel and her dad if they could help me because it was a lot of work and I was just like not with the energy. You know, I had an inspo that was good. I was just telling them what to do, but I couldn't, I couldn't physically do it myself like I usually do because I was feeling like... I was feeling super tired. We would watch movies or we would do something and I would sneak to the room and I would fall asleep so hard that I would wake up until the next day for the last day so they decided to take us to this one restaurant I think it was Texas something it was a steak restaurant and this time Jonathan was driving I was in the back and uh, I was not good at all like I was like okay can you please stop the car right now as soon as he stopped the car I ran I ran to the nearest street and I started puking I was like okay this is interesting we start walking to the restaurant and as soon as the door was open once again i was like okay this is not good i feel like i'm gonna throw up so i ran to the restroom and i start puking again i was like fudge at this point i really thought that i had a food poisoning blanca was suspicious so she was like i think you should take a pregnancy test i was like you're crazy my girl like i'm not pregnant and she was like no take one just in case i was like but i'm not pregnant and she was like just take one and i was like okay whatever so we stopped at a pharmacy pharmacy store we went back to her house i took the test and guess what it came out negative blanca is making me take a pregnancy test because she thinks i'm pregnant but i'm not i'm just I'm just sick. Okay, I think I don't know. There's a possibility because did know. you tell them? Yeah, I'm. Are you late? And yeah, but it's fixed? because I've been stressing. But not only that, she's been super tired. Se ve jodidísima, and she's been like nauseous and throwing up. Yeah, which Gabby usually throws yeah. up and gets her sick. But you never know. So let's go. Gabby, don't look at it until I'm there with you. Okay, pues. Okay, let me put it here. And now let me take a shake. Oh, my head hurts. You saw her already? No. <laughs> <laughs> I told you to take a bite. Are you ready? How long has it been there for? I don't know. Is it again? Oh, God, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm not. I feel like I'm not. Gabby. I'm not I do it. I'm not pregnant, guys. I do it. No, you're not. I told you. I'm just stressed. Oh, <laughs> it's leaky. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I told you, bitch. And yeah, that was weird. We got in the plane and I did not enjoy the plane. I remember that we arrived to AZ around 12 or 1 a.m. And it was really late. We got on a lift and the lift made me feel so sick. Once again, I was feeling bad. 
but I didn't want to be like a party pooper because the next day, well that same day actually, it was my sister's birthday, that was July 14th and we drove to Cali because she was getting hair extensions, I was getting hair extensions and it was just a little celebration for my sister, you know, like for her birthday but I was feeling so sick you guys, that's when I started feeling like crap I tried to hold it in so much but I couldn't so I threw up two times no three times actually the next day we drove back to az so gabriel had a soccer game but before that i wanted to eat something because i didn't have nothing in my stomach like, i was throwing up everything that i was eating so i needed some food so i told him to give me a little caldito de queso and he did and i threw up the caldito de queso i was like okay guys i'm dying i'm dying because uh, I told Gabriel to take me to a pharmacy. He got me the pregnancy test and in that pregnancy test, it had two of them. It was like the two white pink pregnancy tests. I don't know if, yeah. We went to his parents' house. I went inside the restroom and I used one of them. I recorded just in case. Um, I don't know, it's just a really scary moment, to be honest, and I'm still a little bit scared, but yeah, that's that's how I found out. I couldn't believe it. I was in denial. I really thought that it was probably a false positive, even though it's not too common, uh, usually the false negatives are but not the positives so the next day uh we had to move out from the apartment so i decided to go to target and get another test because i couldn't believe it i was like you know what i'm gonna get one of the expensive ones the ones that I actually says pregnant not not pregnant girl i shit my pants when i saw that that was positive I start shaking so much because I'm not gonna lie, I'm panicking right now. I'm super scared. I don't know what to say. I don't have any words. I'm, I have mixed emotions. I don't know. I'm just so, I'm so scared, guys. There's nothing else to say that I'm just really scared. And you might think that I'm being so dramatic, but I can't wrap my head around it. I'm just so scared like this is one of my fears getting pregnant and that's why I'm here at Target because I want to get another pregnancy test this one a the digital one I'm gonna take it in there I'm gonna come back here to the car and see what got one of those I ran to the restroom from Target I took the test and something weird popped on the on the little screen. I was like, what the fuck? Like, what's going on? What is this? I started reading the instructions and supposedly something wrong came up. Like, it, it didn't work, basically. kidding me like this shit was so expensive for no reason because it didn't work so i ran back and i bought another one well, i didn't want to use the digital one because i was like okay i'm not gonna waste another one let me just make sure that this is gonna work so i used the other one and I, they came out positive i was like what the heck 
So that's when I started crying so hard. And I was like, I can't believe it. So I ran back and I got another pregnancy test. At this point, I was crying so much. I got another pregnancy test and I decided to just end up getting some baby stuff, you know, to surprise Gabriel. It was so funny because um, that cashier was, it was a guy. So he was the one who was getting my stuff. Every single time I would go back and buy another one and rent to the restroom. And he literally had no words. He was just staring at me like, oh, this girl is going through it. This time he was not just getting the pregnancy test, but also baby stuff. I went back to the car. I, I got lost. Like I couldn't think, like I don't, I couldn't think, like my head was not right. I, like I, I was just lost, I was lost. But I still wanted to make sure if I was actually pregnant. So I go back to the apartment, I get inside the restroom, but this time I took a little cup and I was waiting there to have some drops of pee because I have no more liquid inside of me. But I stay there and I peed this much, like it was nothing but this much. And I dip in the pregnancy again, the pregnancy test again. I checked it. And guess what? <laughs> I, at this point, I gave up. I was like, okay, it's not gonna come out negative, so eh, I'm pregnant. The reason why I disappear from social media is because it did hit me really, 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 really hard. I was really sick. I didn't have just one symptom. I had every single one of them, like all of them at the same time for a month and a half. And I felt like I got hit by a small truck because I was dying, you guys. First of all, I couldn't eat nothing. And by nothing, I mean nothing, not even water. All the smells, all of them. I couldn't even wear perfume or anything on my body. Not even shampoo, um, condition, nothing. Like all of the smells made me nauseous. And not just nauseous, like I would literally throw up. As soon as I smell anything, I would throw up. As soon as I tried to put anything in my mouth, I would throw up noises guys that was so weird made me nauseous i threw up like almost 15 times a day like that bad it was really really bad my head hurt so bad i had like four different pains throughout this part of my body uh, here on my throat i felt like fire like bad like it was so bad i felt so much fire and then right here i felt like a hole like if somebody stabbed me and it just felt empty and like it hurt so bad. Then my stomach felt like if they were shaking. And then we have my uterus, which it felt like stabbing too. Like I felt so much cramping, it was so weird. Cause I wasn't having my periods. So I was like, usually I have cramps when I'm in my period, but I'm pregnant. So it was, that was bad too. I was so weak. I literally couldn't like stand by myself. Gabriel had to like, grab me and like take me and set me and pick me up and shower me and do everything for me i had diarrhea vomit at the same time literally i had this weird cough that it, it didn't went away my body was shaking all the time i couldn't like stop shaking it was so bad i lost a lot of weight i just wanted to end i i was tired i was i was not feeling okay I didn't want to complain, but I, I, I couldn't stop complaining about my, my, my feelings, my, my body. <sighs> I couldn't even think. I couldn't sleep. I was even scared of opening my eyes every single morning because I knew I was going to have a rough day. were gonna pop out like 
I literally felt that so many times until one day I checked myself on the mirror even though I didn't want to because I, I was even scared of myself like I, looking into the mirror I was like that's not even me like I don't feel like that's me I felt like my body was not my body I couldn't control my body so how could it be my body you know and I saw my eye I don't even know how that happened I tried to be the most positive I could sometimes I will get up and walk even though I didn't have that energy my body started changing my nipples are no longer pennies and they're no longer pink I lost so much weight that I, I look so skinny, so bony my hands, my skin is so dry you guys because I was struggling to drink water even though I, I tried, I couldn't until now, now I'm drinking water slowly because the prenatals I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't take them at all now I do and I still struggle like I feel like and it's crazy like I'm 13 weeks and one day and I already have a little belly I want to show you guys so you guys can see don't mind the boxers you guys my clothes doesn't fit me and it, it's so uncomfortable to wear my own underwear so I use Gabriel's <laughs> this is my belly you guys so tiny my it looks so weird it's funny but yeah it's so hard to but yeah it's really tiny it's tiny but so yeah guys this is just my story like i mentioned the first trimester was rough but now i feel great i feel amazing and i have so much energy i feel happy and I'm just so excited to see what the future awaits for me and my husband and my baby. Feels weird saying that every single time. But yeah. Thank you everybody for all the love and all the messages. When I started feeling better, I got on my Instagram just to check up on friends and stuff. And I will see so many DMs from so many people asking me if I was okay or just like not even asking me just like wishing me to be okay because they didn't know what was going on and even through email um comments on my pictures you guys really made me feel so special and loved so i'm really grateful for every single one of you i really hope that you guys enjoy my new journey with me i will keep you guys updated but i don't want to post just about my baby i want to clear that out because I still think that I'm my own person, you know? And I still want to keep that. Even though I'm going to be a mother, it doesn't mean that I have to just be a mother. I want to be Gabby a while as just myself. Thank you so much for all the love and support, you guys. Thank God for everything. And I will see you guys on my next video. Make sure to go to Gabby and Gabe and just stay tuned because in Gabby and Gabe, we will be posting a lot about this journey. Now, I'll see you guys until next time. Love you, bye.